Wisconsin Senator Ron Johnson, chairman of the Homeland Security Committee, has got a very important meeting today. And, sir, thank you for your time. Good morning, Good morning Senator. Bill. Uh, what do you want to know from Rosenstein today? Let's start there. Well, if you remember, this uh, meeting with Rosenstein was uh, requested, I think, by Senator Schumer last week. And my guess is Senator Schumer wanted to put pressure on, on Rosenstein to uh, appoint a special counsel. Uh, the special counsel has been appointed now, so this, this uh, secure briefing of this meeting may be kind of a moot point. But uh, I'd still like to hear exactly you know, the, the rationale. I, re I read the letter by the dep deputy uh, attorney general in terms of why he thought uh, uh, Director Comey had some real problems continuing as, as a director. Yeah. Do you think we learn what goes on inside that meeting today? And I, I, I ask you because you're living in a town that's filled with leaks <laughs> and they have not been plugged. Yeah, there are many secrets in this town. So, yeah, my, my guess is uh, what's said in that meeting will be made public eventually. Uh, from my standpoint, what I'm hoping will happen with the special counsel process, and by the way, I think uh, FBI Director Mueller is probably the, the best choice you could have made, but I'm hoping uh, the former FBI director really sticks to the first, his first charge, which is investigating any links or coordination between Russia government and individuals associated with the campaign of President Donald Trump. What I don't want to see is a, an expanding fishing expedition. I don't want to see what happened with Valerie Plame, where we knew right up front you know, exactly who, you know, d did reveal Valerie Plame, and then we had this investigation go on for years, and you end up with uh, process crimes. Let's get to the bottom of this. Let's let the Senate Intelligence Committee can conduct their investigation, issue their report. This is, this is a serious matter. Let's so find do, out exactly you, what Russia did, and let's yeah. uh, make sure that doesn't happen again. The, the Senate side, the House side, do you think that continues oh, in a normal continue. way, or, or does the, the Mueller appointment get in the way? Well, part of the problem, what I've seen is, is being chairman of the Oversight Committee, when there's a criminal investigation ongoing, it really do, does inhibit your ability to conduct your oversight because you'll, you'll call in witnesses and they'll say, well, I, I can't give you any information because I'm under investigation or there's an investigation ongoing. Government witnesses do the same thing. So I think it, it really does have the possibility of hampering what the Senate Intelligence Committee is going to be doing. And that'd be a real shame because we've got to get to the bottom of this. We've got to get to the bottom of it quickly, get it behind us because we have enormous challenges facing this nation. And we ought to be working on those. Um, constitutional law professor Jonathan Turley wrote a very interesting piece in The Hill this week. I, I encourage viewers to check it out and, you know, make your own decisions and judgment on what he has to say. Last night with Martha, he said the following, and listen carefully and I'll ask you a very specific question about this comment next. I think that the White House should invite uh, the broader scope. Um, I, I, I don't see... Uh, the basis for suggesting that what allegedly happened between Comey and Trump uh, was a act of, of criminal obstruction. Uh, I think if that w were investigated, it would likely favor the White House uh, in terms of the outcome, unless some other evidence comes forward, which mm. it might. You, you heard the critical lines there, right? He, he did not see the act of criminal obstruction, um, and perhaps the White House should, should welcome this as the story stands, as we know it today. What do you think of that, sir? Well, listen, if I was under investigation for something I didn't do, I'd want the investigation to be thorough, to be expeditious, and I'd want, I'd want it to exonerate me. So my guess is that's exactly what the White House is gonna to wanna to see from this. But from my standpoint, being here, uh, concerned about our debt and deficit, our healthcare system that's broken, these insurance markets are collapsing, the fact we need tax reform. I want to get the facts known. I want to get this behind us so we can move on to, to actually doing the, so the, now, the people's now on, business. On those points, and you're going to get these questions an awful lot, what does it do to the, to the Republican agenda? Majority in the Senate, majority in the House, Republican in the White House. What is the effect of that? Well, from, from my part, uh, for example, in our committee, we marked up 17 pieces of legislation that we reported out. We're still doing the work that we were sent here to do, and we'll still have a president that can sign the legislation. So you know, from that standpoint, I don't think we're going to be uh, deterred or, or delayed in terms of what we're trying to accomplish. Obviously, it could hamper the White House's ability to help sell, whether it's our tax reform proposal or how we're going to try and fix these collapsing insurance markets. Uh, okay. So it, it, it'd be Understood. nice if we weren't here, but uh, you know, we've got to move yeah. forward. Uh, last question. You're pushing a bill on cybersecurity in light of what happened this past week, uh, this past weekend, whether it was from Russia or North Korea or who knows where. Uh, what would your bill do specifically, Senator? 
it, it would codify what's already happening here when our, our agencies find vulnerabilities in software. Uh, some of those vulnerabilities we want to keep so we have the best offensive cyber attack capability in the world. I think that's important, but at the same time we want to make sure that uh, we want to those companies be able to patch so that software so that other computers don't remain vulnerable. It's, so it's, it's, a, it's a balance, you know, for our own national security versus, you know, protecting everybody else's cyber assets. So there's already a process in place. We're going to make that a more transparent process. We're going to make sure that uh, we really do balance uh, national security with the uh, protection of everybody's okay. uh, computers. Senator, thank you. Ron Johnson, the Republican from Wisconsin. Come on back sometime, okay, real soon.